But yeah, we back, we back. But yeah, like. Yeah, but like I was telling y'all that word, that's the vibration. That's a vibration. That's not a word. It's not a word. We didn't have words. We didn't use words. You see what I'm saying? It's a sound. And that's like, see, and when you know certain words, you can over, you could access certain energy grids that surround you. Because remember, everything was vibration. That's why they taught us English. Remember, we gave them the alphabets. And they taught it back to us once they took over shit. You know what I'm saying? So... But you can call in any fucking, any God, any God you can call in. Any any ancient God that you've read about, that's what they don't tell you, boy. Hercules, all of them. All of them. You can channel any of their energy if you make an altar. Because an altar is about you making an altar as a place to build up energy because everything is energy. So that's why all the altar is. You adding all your energy to this altar. And that's why anybody that's gonna teach you about altar, they're gonna tell you, you put it's your energy. Magic starts with your energy and your intent first. You know what I'm saying? So you put your energy into the altar, and over time you you steady going to that altar because you keep going to the altar every day and you just meditate, you know, you focus, you're sitting there just vibing, you add stuff to the altar, and you as you steady doing that, you adding your energy to the altar, so you're building up the energy of your altar. And as your energy builds up, now you allowing higher forces to channel into that altar. So this is why you would go to that altar and these higher forces to talk to you through the altar. That's how altar works. And when you really understand the power of that, that's why you see them doing that in Africa. Because they still in tune with that ancient custom part of it. Remember, certain when they split us up, certain parts of information stay with certain tribes, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And we got split up. We got all these different odd names and stuff. So we got split up real bad. So that's why you want to you wanna pay attention to like what's going on in Central America, Europe, Africa, these different places because they still got customs. Just like over in America, we got customs. Each country going to have some of our ancient customs. That's what you got to know. So to get it all, you got to go sit with the Latin, what they call the Latinos and look at their customs. Puerto Rico, Cuba, because that's all our shit. Because we them, they us. Then go look at all the Africans' customs and culture. Then go sit with Russian, Asian, and it all started clicking. Because they ain't do shit, but just divide us. So we kept different parts. We just kept different parts. I got this part, you got that part. But we, you on that side of the land, I'm on this side. You know what I'm saying? So if you go look at ancient Africa, like they always had altars. Listen. Let's go deeper. I'm finna fuck y'all up. Remember I told y'all that magic was always being practiced around us? What do they have at a church, y'all? You never thought about it, did you? What? What is it called? What is it called? Magic was in front of you the whole time. What do they have at a church? An altar. You never thought about that. Now you're learning about your ancient history, and I'm talking to you about altars. Altars, right? And the power of them and what they are originally used for. The whole time they had an altar in your goddamn church. And that's they used it for the same thing. When they playing the music, Jesus is good, they chant. Jesus is good. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have Jesus. Then silver and go all that energy being donated to that altar. And then everybody in the congreg that congregation is donating their energy to the altar. And then everybody come every Sunday for years. And who you think they donate all that energy to? Satan. Because they think they calling out Jesus. But Jesus is Zeus. Hey Zeus in Spanish, right? And who took over everything? The Spaniards. So when you say saying Jesus, hey Zeus. That's Zeus. So, you Jesus, you chanting to him. You giving him energy. This is why motherfuckers go to church and they feel all good in church and get out of church and they, it's like, they feel bad all week until they go to church again. Motherfuckers go to church and some of the most corrupt shit takes place in the church. 
Because you done donated all your all, all your energy to build up this Jesus, which is Zeus. Because how do you say Jesus in Spanish? Hey, Zeus. And who, what does what the word, what does Spanish come from? It comes from the Spaniards. Spanish comes from the Spaniards who lived in what they call Spain. And who were the Spaniards? They were Caucasians. They were human beings. So this is why he's able to trick you into worshiping him through, in Christianity. And the altar was right there in front of you the whole time. Candles, music, <laughs> bells. Because you had the tambourine, off of playing tambourine. Piano. You wondering why the, why the, why the pastor got a... And for and we gonna get a hymn, a hymn from the choir for a second, nigga. Fuck the hymn, nigga. Get a get a sermon, nigga. Nigga, you didn't stop the sermon. Churches from nine to two, you didn't stop to go to any any congregation, nigga. Pastor gonna stop stop the sermon, motherfucker, nine times to play some type of music. He'll be in the middle of a sermon. And Ecclesiastes twelve nine says. It's a time to kill and it's a time to heal. It's a time for everything. Now, for a hymn from the choir, bring us in. They come in. Choir. Oh, uh, long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus, long as I got him, I don't need nobody else. I mean, lie, don't lie, don't cheat it, cheat it, talk about mistreated. Long, long. Now, I heard that every motherfuckers in the, now motherfuckers in the congregation, niggas in the congregation and stood up. Because it started like this, everybody down. Long as I got King Jesus, you look over at the motherfucker now, they... He didn't call the Holy Ghost. Man, y'all better sit his ass down for a motherfucker beat his ass. What the fuck is wrong with me down there hit me in my shit? Like, I'm in this a couple times that happened in church. Nigga, I'm chilling. I'm focused on the fucking sermon. Past the stop in the middle. Now for a, for a section from Ecclesiastes 12.9. Now. Ecclesiastes 12, 9 says that there's a time to kill and there's a time to heal. There's a time for everything. Now for a hymn from, for, from the choir. Like, nigga, you ain't even, Nigga, Ecclesiastes say a lot more than that. Nigga, fuck is you on? Now here they come. She want to come in. She, she swinging her ass with the tambourine. Long as I, they always come in with that same lean, don't they? They be leaning like a motherfucker. They come in, they hit the court. Long as I got King Jesus. Long as I got. Then they get to take it over, nigga. They. Long as I got King Jesus. Long as I got King Jesus. Long, long as I got him. I don't need nobody else. I been lie, don't lie, don't cheat it, cheat it, talk the lie, mistreat it. Now another motherfucker wanna. Boy, you ain't even peeping dude in the back. No lie, this happened to me in church before. I'm like, I'm really looking at them. Because I was always observing, like, how we go from that to this. But okay, whatever. So I'm watching it. Nigga, I turn around. Nigga, then. I was grown, if I was in a Del G, I would have. As soon as he got to acting crazy like that. What is wrong with you, G? You gotta chill out, nigga. Get fuck how good the music feel, boy. Hit me again. You better keep your motherfucking composure in this bitch, nigga. We adults. 
Get fucked. How good the music feel, bro? Get off. Fuck is you on? You could have did that shit in the middle of the aisle. You feel me? Starting the aisle, nigga. If you gonna be outside my shit, talking about. Nah, that's why I stopped fucking with church. Nigga ain't shit even wrong with you. Now they, now he in the back, y'all, like this. He's 6'3", stomach out here. It be big nigga, too. 19 ushers. 19 ushers. Fanny, man. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Give it. Yeah. Give him a little air. Give him a little air. Like, gee, if y'all don't stop. If y'all don't knock it off in this motherfucker, man. Ain't shit wrong with him. Ain't no Holy Ghost got in him. Who the fuck? Who the fuck y'all think y'all fooling, man? The music was feeling good, and he got the grooving. That's like when you in the club, like, you know they want to put Holy Ghost. You know, they wanna, nigga, nigga, nah, that ain't what happened. Motherfucker was chilling. We got DEA, we black, Latinos, you know us. We hit some drums, we gone. We can't help ourselves. Nigga was chilling. Music got the feeling good. My fuck got up. Just say that. Ain't no niggas come down, land any, none of that. At the end of the day, that's just like when we in the club. Same shit. You at the crib chilling. You chilling watching TV. Yo, shit, come on. You, oh, shit. Hey, that's my shit right there. I got to. Right, y'all? Let's, let's just bake, let's just think about what it, what's really going on here. Ain't no niggas come out of no heaven and got in him. Holy Ghost. So, remember, Jesus was the Holy Ghost. So, Jesus just came and got in him. Jesus just got in him. Now, he all in the back. They fanning him. She look like, looks to me like nigga was off the, off the, the yak to me. That's how people be when they drunk. To me, nigga, get drunk, pass out. You got a fanny. And y'all didn't want us to know Deacon Jack was getting drunk back then, so we ain't think nothing of it. We thinking Deacon Jack really didn't caught this Holy Ghost. Whole time, he was in the back hitting the motherfucking crown royal before he even came out here. We didn't even know it. We remember you being in church, pastor sweating, everybody next, extra wet. Nigga, my shit wasn't ever wet. I got a suit on, too. Let's make it make sense. We... Uh, Nigga want to fan him down, y'all. You know, got us all food as kids. Gonna be all right. Whole time, they ain't even telling you what really happened. Whole time, this what really happened. Deacon Jack and Pastor and and and, 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 and Pastor Monroe, they was they be you know they go to they go to the scene on weekends every Saturday before church. You know what I'm saying? Shit. They had a little bit left over from last night. So when they linked up at Sunday school to open the church doors, they met up at Sunday school to open the church doors so Sunday school could start. So Sunday school could start. And motherfucking, they was hitting the crown royal raw. That's what it was. Two, three hours later, that shit gonna kick in. And you got on a big ass robe, you the pastor. Yeah, no wonder you all on your neck. No wonder the deacon, he back. Touch the Holy Ghost. That's that royal. Fuck you, man. He ain't off no holy nothing. That's that holy crown royal. Fuck you, man. He... See him a few hours later. Ain't niggas back good normal again. Yeah, that was a good sermon. Reverend the Holy Ghost got in me. You feel me? See, we didn't pay attention to this, y'all. Y'all get what I'm saying? We didn't think like that. That's an altar there the whole time, y'all. But when I sit here and I'm ringing bells... And I'm talking about SU and a leg by, and I'm trying to put you on what our ancient shit. And I'm talking ancient ancestor altars and trying to tell you got motherfuckers in class right now. Cause you know this late night class, it's 3 a.m. So you gotta be dedicated to being here right now. This is for the late nighters, you hear me? This is for the real, this is for the real late nighters, you hear me, y'all? So you know what I'm saying? We in this bitch talking about altars, niggas looking at me like I'm crazy. So I had to remind niggas like <laughs> you must have forgot that when you went to church, it was a whole altar right there. They even had you donating money. Just like at the altar, you'll put money on your altar too. You feel me? They came around with a gold collection plate. Why gold? Why gold? Why gold? What vibration does gold give to an altar, y'all? Make it make sense. See what I'm saying? Why the trays couldn't be wooden? You ever thought about that? Why the trays couldn't be silver? 
Why the, why the collection plate couldn't be silver? You know what I'm saying? Because even when it looked silver, it was still white gold. You go look into it. See what I'm saying? You feel me? Y'all, it was right there in front of you the whole time. Magic being done right in front of your face. You didn't even know it. Because they told us magic ain't real. They told us magic wasn't real. But it makes sense, though. If I'm using this shit to fuck you over and you made it, why would I tell you it's real? Nah, that shit ain't real. So I can keep running it across your goddamn head. I told you, every holiday is a ritual. Them rituals. Now, you try, you look into practicing rituals and magic, and then you go look at holidays. Go back and look at church. Even the mosque. Even the mosque. Y'all ain't out that gym, Muslims. Y'all ain't out the gym neither, G. I ain't gotta get started on the Catholics. <laughs> Boy, they got big, they doing big candle magic in Christian, the Catholic churches, nigga. Fuck you, man, nigga. Go look at a Catholic church, nigga. Big ass altar, nigga. Candle. Nigga, Candle be standing there like this, taller than me. Candle, though, nigga. Nine of them. You hear me? 47 and three-fourths candles, nigga. They all my height or taller, nigga. You hear me? Nigga, the Pope and them, boy, them, niggas, boy, them Cardinals, nigga, they be having on red. They, get, they coming out, they got they robes, nigga. See what I'm saying? They give you the cracker. Give you the little grape juice. The cracker represents Jesus' body, don't it? The grape juice represents the blood. Fuck is we doing drinking blood for? But they teach you that if you drink the blood, you will have everlasting life. Sounds like a reptilian to me. See what I'm saying? You never thought about that, did you? Let's run it back. Because I know we was, we was walking to it. In case niggas forget, let's run it back a little bit. <laughs> they gave you the blood. They gave you the grapefruit juice. See what I'm they gave you the cracker. The cracker represents Jesus' body. The juice represents his blood. And the Bible clearly says, Ye eat of my flesh and my blood for so for so who verbatim, y'all. For so who ever, nigga, eat the flesh of my flesh, a drink of the blood of, shall have for everlasting life. You go look it up. They wrote it, not me. But niggas was in church eating your saltine crackers and drinking your. Yes, you did. Cause I did it too. I got baptized at eight. My mama and my grandma baptized me at eight, y'all. I ain't had no, I ain't had no say in the matter. So you ain't gonna tell me how it go. I know how it go, nigga. Cause soon as after they baptize you, nigga, they dip you. Ray step in the water. That's a ritual. Baptism is a ritual. Dip you. Whip. Pass it. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get in the water, you. They get in the water, nigga. Pass to be right there with his arms out. Why we in the water for? Especially if we know what the ele element of water represents now, right? As soon as you walk in that bitch, nigga, pass through. Eh, dip you, pull you back up. Pull you back up, you. See what I'm saying? They send you to the front. They sit you down to be able to line to y'all. Everybody, it's, it's always a, a new set of niggas just got baptized. So you be in that set. Y'all all walking and shit. That's the congregation to the left. Everybody got to sit down because y'all the new baptized. Y'all the new Baptists, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just got mind fucked young. You know, we ate, just got fresh mind fucked and gave us the gave us a way to Satan. Quick, didn't they, y'all? We ate nine. They come around with the crackers and the juice. Of course we're gonna eat them eight. They give you them crackers. Mm, juice, knock you back. But now as an adult, I see what y'all was trying to do, God. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. We was kids. We was kids, y'all. <sighs> I'm just going through all this to let you know. You better look around you when I'm talking to you about these altars. 
And I'm talking to you about Eshu. And the leg by Eshu is many different names. Ochosi, Ogun, Obatala, Orula, Rumila, Yimie, Osun, Shango, Mama Oya. You see? And many more. Many, many more Orishas. Many, 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 many more than that. You know what I'm saying? Different ancient ones you can call in. You got your ancestors. You make an ancestor altar. Go get you some sticks and some stones and some graveyard dirt. That's all I'm going to say. See what I'm saying? Go get you some sticks and some stones and some graveyard dirt. I'm going to give y'all the game free right now. Get you some sticks and some stones and some graveyard dirt. See what I'm saying? To make your ancestor altar. To make your ancestor altar. Why? Because your ancestors, they was in that cemetery before. They were, your physical ancestors walked in this physical before. So their, their essence is still in the soil. Any living thing that ever lived here, their essence is still in the soil. That's why you get the graveyard dirt. So you ain't trying to connect for real. I'm telling you real speed, you get the graveyard dirt, man. Feel me? <clears throat> Go get you some sticks. Go to a tree. Hug the tree first, though. You hug the tree. Mm. And go to a tree, let the tree choose you. You don't just go grab no sticks off the tree. Respect nature, man. You don't just go grab no sticks. No. You go, you go, you go outside a park or some backyard, wherever, Nick. You find you a tree, they call you out. It's just like going in a crystal store to get your crystals. You let the crystal choose you. You don't choose the crystal. Whatever crystal go, you grab it, you run with it. He's talking to you. She's talking to you. Listen. See what I'm saying? You go outside, boom, you just stand there, be cool. Whatever tree call you, you go to that tree. That ain't talking to you. Whatever tree stand out, you go to that tree. You hug the tree first. You ask the tree, may I borrow a branch from you, please, tree? The tree going to say yes. The tree loves you. Now, we know that these ain't the real trees, but these the bushes. But you know what I'm saying, the trees, the bushes, the trees, stuff. You know, the real trees, the mountaintops, of course. But you hug that tree. You ask it for a stick. You get that stick. Now you got your stick. You go get you some stone. You go get you a stone. You go, same, same thing with the stones. Go look at the ground. Let's just look at the ground. There's stones and rocks everywhere. Whatever stone stands out to you, it's going to be something about the shape or the size or something about it. It's going to stand out to you. Like, oh, that, that stone do stand out. You grab that one. That means it's calling you. You ask it first. Can I take you with me? He going to say, yeah. Take the stone, the sticks. Graveyard dirt. Put it on your ancestor altar. Get a picture of your ancestor, whoever you trying to channel in. You see what I'm saying? And if you can't get a picture of them, you can use your mind to channel them in. You feel me? And get you, sit you some water right there. And get you some, sit you a candle right there. Why are you doing that? Because now you got all the elements. You got a, so you got nay, you got you got earth. Because you got stick and stone from tree and graveyard dirt, which is your ancestor spiritual energy from is in that soil. Whether it's they if it's they graveyard, that's even better. But any graveyard, remember, all our energy and all the soil, you can connect. We all connected anyway. So, we, you know what I'm saying? You got the soil that, that give you the spiritual energy. That's what's going to help you channel them on your ancestor altar. Feel me? That's what helps you channel them. You know what I'm saying? So... Doing that, you got nature, you got your earth with your sticks, your stones, you got your graveyard dirt, you got your candle, that's the fire, you got the wind, that's you, and you put you put some water on that altar too. So you got fire, earth, air, water. All four. Put you a picture of your ancestor, whoever you trying to call. If your little brother just passed yesterday, you can channel his energy right back. Your granddaddy, your grandmama, your anybody, because that's their energy, their spirit and soul. They never their energy never left. Their energy can be pulled back in at any time. Y'all better go watch Eternals. You see how like they'll be on Earth and then the shit will just blotch out and they right in front of this big ass celestial. That's really how it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? So the spiritual astral realm can intersect with our dimension at any time. This is just density here. This is just a little density. This shit is, boy, this shit is space apart. And you'll see some whole different shit out there if you wanted to. You know what I'm saying? If they wasn't fucking with the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? So you got all of that and what's going to happen is... You sit at your altar and you call your ancestor. Well, and when you do that, do it that way. Watch, watch how quick they come. But don't get scared when you feel their presence, cause you gonna feel their presence. You're like, damn, I thought God was lying. No, that we are powerful, bro. We are connected, bro. 
We are nine ether. You really want to know what the nine ether being is? Start getting these altars. Start tapping into these crystals. Really start meditating. But definitely get these ancestor altars. Start you a Orisha altar to the certain Orishas or, or, or go read up on any ancient god that, that pull. I don't care fuck if it's Hercules. You can pull up the strength of Hercules. You feel me? In you. Because it's in you anyway. Man, let me make this da -da -da. facts. These are all, but that's why you want to read Greek mythology. You want to learn about the, because they tell you all about us in Greek mythology. You know what I'm saying? And then when you read about all the ancient gods, they tell you about all of them, but they tell you they're gone. Isis and all them still exist. You could channel the energy of Isis. You know what I'm saying? You could, those are, ain't, those are the ancient ones, man. Those are the ancient ones. You see what I'm saying? Those are the ancient ones I be talking to y'all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could channel all those ancient gods. You know what I'm saying? Any Greek mythology, even the creatures, the griffins, the all of them existed. You can channel that energy, and they still exist. Griffins and all that exist. You know what I'm saying? The griffins left with Timbuktu because the griffins was a part of all that. They went up to the higher frequency with the University of Timbuktu when they raised their frequency. You know what I'm saying? That's what the that's why you got pyramids in Egypt today. That's not even Egypt. The real Egypt over here in America with three Ks. What you looking at is my fucking. Where the University of Timbuktu was when you're looking at the pyramids today at Giza. And those are not pyramids. Actually, those are just frozen, frozen, frozen residue. I like to call it frozen residue. Nefertiri, all of them. You hear me? But you can channel all of them. Even the bad ones. And that's what fucking people do. That's what the elite, the oppressors do. They be channeling the bad ones. Like Nimrod. You see what I'm saying? They be doing shit like that. They got altars, nigga. That's what's going on in church. And they got all these churches set up. So if you imagine, if think about it like this, the whole purpose of a church is just literally for the altar and the energy point of it. To extract all that energy, right? Now, think about how many churches they got set up. So if imagine each church just to be an altar, because that's really what the fuck it is. It is an altar, a big ass altar. Boy, every, for all these altars they got, and you wondering why the fuck he got so much power. You see what I'm saying? These churches are altars. They merely serve as altars. Courthouses are altars. Guess what? It's a fucking, it's a deity that's over the fucking court system. They are dealing with gods, y'all. They are dealing with entities, y'all. And you can do the same thing. You can go, it's, oh, it's gods that's over the court system on our end that fight them same gods and fight that energy. When they try to use the police and law to hurt us and shit like that, yes, bro, you got protection from all that. When they wrong, hell yeah. Hell yeah, you want an ancestor altar? And I'm only saying this publicly because this is some shit everybody should know. I'm going to repeat the same shit all over again on my website in more detail anyway. But we as black people and Latino people, we are supposed to have altars, bro. Just like we supposed to have pyramid structures. That's why they took them. We supposed to have altars, bro. They are energy points, bro. They are energy points, bro. To open up shit, to call shit in, to challenge shit in. You know what I'm saying? That's what a, the purpose of an altar. Y'all get what I'm saying? That's what y'all got to know. You see what I'm saying? You want to go look up that. You want to go read about the Egyptian gods. Go read up on them. Dolphin, Anubis. You can channel the energy of Anubis, man. These are actual beings, man. You see what I'm saying? These actual en energies exist. And they still do to this day. But they won't tell you that. Fuck they gonna tell you for that. You already powerful. Now we, we ain't finna char supercharge your ass up. And let you call in more help, nigga. You already powerful, nigga. We, ain't gonna, we gonna use your energy to call in our help. That's why we got you calling out Jesus' name. When you understand that they need you to say his name because that's Satan, that's Zeus, and that's a chant that strengthens him. They, they showed you this in American gods. All set, call all of them in. Ishtar is a goddess for real, but she's a bad one. She's a bad entity. The Ishtar they use for Easter. You see what I'm saying? Like, all of them. You know what I'm saying? When you're hearing stories about Cupid, that's a real... Cupid is a real... Is an actual angel. Cupid is actually from... Is a true story about one of the little angel boys. He was a little guardian angel. You feel me? 
little guardian angel that came to the realm and got stuck here. And then they was trying to kill him in that war. See what I'm saying? They, that's the, I could give a story on Cupid and what he really mean. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a lecture on Cupid. Like, a lot of these stories, man, like I tell y'all, all this shit was right It's right in front of us. Just go look it up. And that's why I'm giving you the game. Like, okay, all the gods. Go look at the Greek mythology. Go look at the Egyptian gods. Go look at the Norse mythology gods. Go look at the African gods and how many they had. Then go look at all the Mayans gods. Then all the Incas gods. Then all the Aztecs gods. Then go look at all the Cherokee gods. The Suox gods. The Choctaw gods. The Illinois gods. The Seminoles gods. The Mississippians gods. The Atlanteans gods. You know what I'm saying? You, you like, the one thing you're going to see is why the fuck do all these different tribes have so many goddamn gods? That's the first thing you're going to see. And it got to be multiple gods. How the fuck was every tribe lying? All over the world, everybody got multiple gods. How the fuck everybody lying? We see this shit from Egypt to fucking South America. What y'all talking about? How everybody lying? They everybody not lying. The only motherfucker lied is this new Jesus shit. This new Muhammad shit. You know what I'm saying? This is the new lies. This, nigga, you go, our history written right there in front of you. You know what I'm saying? It's right there. They can't even hide it. But what they do is they just, they show it to you, but they make you think it was a time when that's what some name was just doing. No, bro. That's what we do, nigga. Yeah, if, listen, who you think the Mayans and Aztecs and Incas are? Yeah, ancestors, nigga. So if your ancestors did that, why the fuck don't you think you're supposed to be doing Y'all feel what I'm saying? Go look at the Gullah Geechee. Yeah, Gullah Geechee. Look at the gods. They Come on, man. If your ancestors never believed in no Bible or no, or no Quran or no none of that, why the fuck would you do it? And if altars ain't real, why the fuck is one in every church? The mosque got altars. Catholics got altars. All of them. You know what I'm saying? All of them do. All of them do. You know what I'm saying? So what you got what you got what y'all gotta understand is we gotta get back to our ancient customs. This is us. Locks. You know what I'm saying? Crystals. Medicine bags. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Medicine bags, nigga. You feel me, though? Type shit. You see what I'm saying? Type shit. Like, come on, man. We got to get back to us, man. This comes from my altar. See what I'm saying? Got to get back to that. Got to catch up. We got to get back to that. You know what I'm saying? We got to get back to that. We got to get back to these. You know, we got to get back to using this copper. See what I'm saying? Sound bowls. We got to get back to this. Gotta get back to that. See, what I'm telling y'all is what they don't want you to know. See that? That's you. That's the real you right there. That's how you look in the astros. You saw them beautiful colors, you are the rainbow. You see that McCurb, that's that McCurb around him. You see all them all the mini McCurbs above his head. You see how the mini McCurb was at the bottom of the star. You see the sacred geometry at the bottom. You see the sacred geometry down here? Sacred geometry. Multiple macarbas. Multiple colors. I am everything and everything is me. What you thought that was decoration, nigga? 
I put that right there to remind your ass of who the fuck you are. Because I know you watching my background. Just like I got that dream catcher right there for if you got negative energy and you want to jump in this live, you ain't going to fuck me up. It's going to go right into that and fuck you up. It's called defense magic. Catch up. You definitely can't do shit to me with this on. It's over with. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Feel me? You gotta, you gotta get in, get in tune with us, y'all. See what I'm saying? Moringa, moringa seeds. Let me put y'all on something, man. How many of y'all on moringa seeds? You ever ate these before? These moringa seeds. See what I'm saying? See? These natural, these come out the ground. Natural energy, free energy. You ever get tired? Eat one of these moringa seeds. Natural. It's gonna be bitter. Because this comes from the earth. But that shit good as hell. That shit have your energy. Fuck a, fuck a five hour energy drink. Fuck a five hour energy drink. Fuck some coffee. You don't need no caffeine. They want you to take caffeine. Caffeine fuck you up. Get you some of these. <laughs> Boy, natural. Bet your ass be. Charge, nigga. See what I'm saying? It's natural. I'm just putting y'all on game. We got to get back to us. See what I'm saying? We got to get back to us, y'all. Y'all feel me? We got to get back to us, y'all. The organic us. The natural us. Now, them right there is called moringa, moringa seeds. Camel on it, maca root. Mm-hmm. Camel man know what's going on. To get you right. I just put them in here just to, you know what I'm saying, put them in something. They don't come in it. But no lie, they work so good, I normally might take two. I take two. And shit, I probably take two every three months, man. That's how much, you know what I'm saying? How to, how powerful it is. Because it's natural. It's a, it comes from plants. It comes from a root. He act, it comes from the root. Exactly. It comes from the root. So what they did was they tapped the root. That's why you got to peel it like a little nut. You got to peel it. And when you bite it, that shit be bitter. Knocking some water back. That bitterness lasts two, three seconds. After that, 20, 30 minutes later, Boy, you're going to be like, you drunk nine five-hour energy drinks. You're going to be, I'm talking about, I didn't, well, I'd have been super tired and had to be up working on a lecture or doing something. And I'm like, damn, I'm super tired. I eat one of them. I'm damn near like, I'm about to be up three weeks straight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and it's not, and it's not a drug. It's not a fucking drug. You get what I'm saying? Guess what they would, what, guess what they would rather me do, y'all? They would rather me, uh... Yeah, yeah. Guess what they would rather me do, though? They would rather me drink some coffee. You get what I'm saying? They'd rather me drink some coffee than take one of these. You too. They promote coffee to us, not these. But coffee is bad. Coffee, caffeine, caffeine is not good for us. You know what I'm saying? The coffee bean is not bad for us. So let me rephrase that. The coffee bean... Which is the natural, that's not that's not bad. That's natural. But what they do is they put caffeine in there. That's a drug. That's not natural. So when you drink a caffeine, that's why when you drink coffee, it'll keep you woke. But then you got this down effect. Uh, you crash. You feel me? You drink a five hour energy drink, that's all chemicals. So yeah, it is gonna get you up, but then you're gonna crash. Yeah. Or you use cocaine, right? That's gonna have you up, up, up. But then you ask wanted to keep doing it. So now your ass right here getting high all day. Feel me? Feel me? Or you might want to go to the gym and work out. They rather you go to the GNC and buy the buy the uh the uh the pre-workout shit. You know what I'm saying? Which works. And and it ain't too bad, but they still kind of fucking with it. When you could just take two of these, boy, you gonna be able to jump three hours straight, it'll come out that bitch like the Hulk. He coming out like the hawk. Y'all hear me? 
And if you a goddess and you go in there, you coming out like She-Hulk. I'm like, damn, why your shoulder so big, girl? You just went to, well, I just got out the gym. Bitch, what was you doing in the gym, girl? Your shoulder, your trap's big. Your trap's sticking up like this. She gonna be sticking up. The goddess, though, like, fuck you, man. Girl, what you, where you just came from? The gym. Like, why your shoulder so strong? She like this to her friend. She watching TV like this with her friend, y'all. Turn her friend look at it. This is how she looked from the side to her friend. Y'all, her friend like, girl, why your motherfucking shoulders and bitch, where you just come from? Oh, bitch, I just came from the gym. Why you look so strong? Oh, well, I was fucking with Rashad Jamal and he recommended me to take the, the merengues. I got some of them and I went to the gym and all I know is normally when I do these, when I do my shoulder shrugs, I normally only can use five pounds and I, I probably, I'm probably good for like three sets. But for some reason, girl, some told me pick up them hundreds today. I picked up them hundreds today, girl. I like I took two of them. Next thing you know, bitch, I had the hundreds. I was with the hundreds. A hundred in each head. And then guess what I did, bitch? I was curling them bitches. I started curling the hundreds, ho. You curled again, yeah, bitch. I, bitch, I was just like this. Fucking with them. Fucking with them. Like, I was, she like, yeah, girl, I mean, I mean, I was only in there three hours straight. Can you tell? Yeah, bitch, I can tell your shit cut up like goddamn it, motherfucker. <laughs> you hear me? Michael Jai White, bitch. Where you just come from? Fucking with, fucking with, <laughs> fucking with these. You hear me? Fucking with them. You the winner of the gym and <laughs> She in there extra like this, y'all. She, Hey, Damo, you feel me, bro? I see my brother Damo in here. Y'all go check out his new visual, too. Hey, Damo, you feel me, bro? Damo feel me, man. It's strong as hell. Fuck it with them. You just got to be careful with them, y'all. And like all to the, all the young guys, see, y'all be, you know y'all be going to the gas station and y'all be buying them gas station pills? See, what you got to understand, so let me help y'all out, man. If ain't none of y'all OGs ever told, this all my young, all my, all my young guys, my YGs out there, my young guys. I ain't going to call y'all no young gangsters, you know what I'm saying? Y'all young guys. That's what our YG stand for in the university. So all the YGs in the university, you know what I'm saying? Blue crystal babies, you know what I'm saying? Let me help y'all out. Look, you want it. Look, man. You know how, how, how females, they get mouths on their coochie? We can get mouths on our shit, too. And then, like, you hit a certain peak and your shit don't get hard no more. Like you used to or some shit. You don't want to go through that. You want to be like me. You see what I'm saying? I'm still good, good. You see what I'm saying? Good, good. More than great. But I'm also not super old. But I'm old enough to not be great. But I am. You see what I'm saying? You want to be like that when you get when you get my age, guy. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to hit my age. 32, 33. 35, 35, up and 30. And then you can't even do nothing no more. Because when you was 16, 17, 18, 19, your ass kept going to BP. And Rashad Jamal told you, look, stop going to BP, f spending money with the A-Rabs, grabbing them, buying them big-ass pills to like, dub, like double D batteries. Stop doing that. Because when you pop on them big-ass gorilla, go forever, whatever the fuck they be calling them, up all night, whatever it is, that's fucking you up. That's chemicals. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no X. You know, y'all get off the molly. Y'all need some molly. I'm going to go crazy all night. No. Get you some natural, natural pterodactyl. You hear me? Natural pterodactyl. You hear me? Some natural pterodactyl. You hear me? Right here. All night killer. Slayer. Slayer. She waking up. She baking eggs. Not, 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 not promoting pork. Because I don't eat bacon and pork. But you might eat pork. See what I'm saying? I can't tell you how to live your life. You shouldn't eat it, but if you do, she waking up, whatever you like. Believe you, nigga. Normally, she would have made you a waffle. You take some of these, or next AM, she's making Belizean waffles. Belizean waffles. Normally, she make you eggs, bacon, once a month. You go over her crib, she might do it if her mom ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. You know what I'm saying? All these? Still natural, stay nice and strong and easy. It's all you, it's all you. But you still gonna slay. You go Stephen Slayer. You hear me? Stephen Slayer. You waking up? She 
Baby, I, I made something for you. Damn, baby, I didn't even know you knew how to cook. You didn't even know she knew how to cook. But after this night, Nick, she, you go in the kitchen, she, and you know, y'all the, y'all the YG, so y'all like 17, 18. You like, damn, baby, I didn't even know you knew how to cook. She, yeah, you know, I, re- I normally don't know how to cook, but you know, for whatever reason, I decided to get on YouTube because, you know, last night you did your thing or whatever, you know. You okay, cool, babe. She making you cheese, eggs, and look for the guys who marry or you got a girlfriend and she do cook. Well, after these, just take one. If you're going to have sex, just take one. I reckon not two. Two is really, 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 really tight. Don't do two. Just take one, y'all. Take one of these natural pterodactyls, I'm telling you. Next AM, normally she's only making you eggs, bacon, and waffles. But off of these, boy, she's making you cheese, eggs. You hear me? Turkey, bacon. She wants you healthy and she can get you with the bacon because she care now. Belizean waffles. Not regular waffles. See what I'm saying? You heard it here first. I just want to look out for y'all any way I can. <laughs> God, like, what's the name of them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel you, God. No, I feel you. That's real. That's real. That's real, God. I feel you, God. The Moringa seeds or Macaroot. Macaroot. You hear me? She care now, y'all. No day before this did you ever get cheese eggs. It was always regular eggs, pork bacon, Oscar Mayer, motherfucking regular waffle. I'm talking about Oscar Mayer waffle, too. I'm talking about she ain't even throw it in the motherfucking... She threw that bitch in the microwave on your ass. She ain't even really get it crispy, like really cook the waffle. I don't know. She microwave the waffle type shit. But not today. Today, off of these natural pterodactyls, you know what I'm saying? Cheese eggs. You hear me? Belizean waffles, nigga. Turkey bacon thin cut. You hear me? Turkey bacon thin cut, nigga. She cared that. She cared, man. <laughs> she cared, man. Macaroon. She cared, man. She cared, man. I'm putting y'all on some real esoterics this evening. I hope y'all saved the lot. I hope y'all screen recording. I know we, the Moringa seeds, macaroon, I, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we laughing and joking, but I hope y'all screen record for real. I'm serious, though. That's really what it do. It's healthy, too. It's healthy. It's healthy, healthy, y'all. Like, I'm just trying to promote, and I want to help the goddesses out, too. Goddesses, y'all got gods, y'all got husbands, y'all got motherfucking boyfriends, you know, the young YGs, young goddesses. Y'all could be YGs, too. Y'all the YGs, young goddesses, you know what I'm saying? Don't tell him I said it, because then he ain't going to try to do it. You will never go to your God and be like, Rashad Jamal said, because then you making him feel less of a God. You don't do it like that. God says, I got y'all. I got y'all. That's how you finesse him. You know what I'm saying? You get one of these bitches. Y'all, let's goddess. Is y'all listening? Drop nines, goddess. Y'all get y'all some macaroon. Y'all God, and it's healthy too. And what you do is you want him to take it. But you can't come to him and be like, take these, because he's going to be like, what, what I'm taking these for. And then you're going to have to explain yourself. And then you might get caught lying. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to get caught lying. It's going to fuck everything up. So if you're like, what I'm taking these for? Now you got to be like, well, I was watching Instagram live. And you know I told you I'm always watching Rashad Jamal, right? The, the one guy. He looking at you like, fuck that nigga. Fuck that you telling about Rashad. I don't get no fuck about the nigga. Why is you, all, why is you smiling for when you saying his name and shit? Your cheeks are red. Talking about Rashad Jamal. Who the fuck is Rashad Jamal? You know what I'm saying? Man, I have. Now, he ain't really ain't taking it. Because you made him feel away. I'm putting you on real game. You done made him feel, you done made him feel away. Because I wouldn't take it. You come to me like, well, you know, Terrence Howard said. Man, we don't give no fuck what Terrence Howard said. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to feel like Terrence Howard don't pay the bills in this bitch. So you got to come at them different goddesses. Y'all hear me? You got to finesse him. You get one of these, you chop that motherfucker up on his ass. You get what I'm saying? Baby. You know what I'm saying? We have like... You know what I'm saying? With like the gods, not the gods, but the niggas try to do the females. <laughs> Where they be trying to slide shit in their drinks. Them old date rape ass niggas. You got to date rape yo. You got to date rape yo god. But but it, it's going to be cool because it's not a bad date rape. You really help making them get healthy. And he going to beat that nanny up all night. That nanny. 
He gonna get that nani for you. You get what I'm saying? He gonna get that nani. You hear me? But you gotta take one of these motherfuckers. You gotta chop that bitch up. Put that bitch in his. Put that bitch in his spaghetti. Put that bitch in something that you know he gonna eat. Tuna sandwiches. If it was me and I was with me and I was the guys, I know I like tuna. I'll chop that bitch up. Dice that. I'ma fuck chop it. I'ma. You gotta dice it so he don't even know that bitch. And you gotta dice that motherfucker. Iron chef that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you sprinkle that shit on a tuna sandwich and give it to me. I ain't thinking that nothing. I ain't gonna taste that shit in the tuna. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna taste that shit in the tuna. I'm on live. Like, yeah, it's all this tuna. Good. Good looking, baby. Yeah, yeah. I know this tuna cracking. But anyway, so back to the esoteric facts. That's how I would be. That's what I would do. So y'all gotta, I'm telling y'all. I'm, I'm just I'm helping the goddesses out, man. I'm help. I gotta help the gods. I gotta help. The, I gotta help the goddesses. What y'all want me to be? I can only be me, y'all. What they expect? <laughs> what they expect from me? We in sacral chakra week anyway. We're in sacral chakra week, y'all. Let's not forget where we are. You know what I'm saying? Let's not forget where we are. We in sacral chakra week anyway. So technically, this is a part of the lesson for the week. I'm telling y'all, get some macaroon, merengue seeds in your life. You know, I got to talk to you like the Islanders now. Some merengue seeds in your life, macaroon. Mm-hmm. You hit me up. I just might get you right. Selling them for the low. Two for the ten. Matter of fact, I got, I got six for fifty right now. Who trying to get right? I got six for fifty. I got six for fifty right now. <laughs> hey, that's how we used to be in Chicago. I got six for fifty right now. What y'all trying to do? Who trying to do something? What you got? A hundred? All right, I got twelve for the hundred. Twelve for the hundred. Six for the fifty. All right, I got three for two. I got three. You ain't got fifty. I got three for twenty five. I got three for twenty five. <laughs> y'all remember that? Hey, look, shit. I got what you got? You got a hundred. I got tw all right, twelve for the hundred. All right, six for fifty. Then I got six for fifty. You ain't got 50. All right, I got three for 25. Three for 25. Three for the two. <laughs> I got three for 25. All right, you ain't got the, All right, I got two for, fi two for 15. Two for, fi two for 15. Two for 15. <laughs> Where the real hustlers at? Y'all know us. Y'all got something, nigga. Fuck it. You ain't got two for 10. All right, just give me eight. Give me eight. Give me eight. Give me eight. I'll give you one. Give me eight. Give me eight. Man, I got six. Man, I need eight. I need eight. I'm already fucking with you. Give me, I need eight. I'm all right, eight, ten. You, you ain't had a 12 for the 100. You ain't had a six for the 50. You ain't had a three for the 25. The, the Simeon, Derrick Rose. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had a three for the quarter. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had a two for the 15. All right, all right. I got you want one. All right. Just give me eight. I ain't trying to hear about six, seven. And it better not be in change. It better not be in change. Nigga. It better... Nigga, it better not be in change because you playing with it. It's too cold out here for this shit, man. It better not be in change, man. I need the whole eight unk. It better not be in change. Definitely the unks. Where, where, where the triple OGs at in here? You, 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 four, double OGs, 40 to 60. Look, this shit's so real, macro real. If you, look, I'm guaranteeing product. I'm going to start selling these bitches for real on y'all laugh. I'm guaranteeing performance. I'm guaranteeing product or your money back. Are your money back? If I said I got to stand on it. To the triple OGs, I'm going to put these on the website. That shit going to have my own name on it. It's going to be my own bottle. <laughs> Fuck that. You all right? You don't need Viagra triple OGs. Mac Root. You hear me? Hey, Weezy, you hear me? Heavy on it. Heavy on it. I need eight. I need eight. Hey, I need... <laughs> you hear me? I'm coming to the trap with the two herbs and roots. Look, I need eight. We ain't got nigga. We killing the whole ecstasy market, whole Molly market with these. The Zans perks, everything. Look, we got these. Don't even worry about it. How high you trying to get? Shit, nigga, get get five. Take pop six, nigga. You gonna really be through the roof. Fuck you, man. This is wherever you wanna take it. And it's natural. You ain't gonna overdose. It helps your, your reproductive system. You gonna breathe better than everything, nigga. You hear me? What we doing, y'all? I'm telling y'all, y'all can get on this bitch. I'm going to pop up on, I'm going to post it. It's going to be a bottle. It's going to say, 
Herbalistic Healing, Rashad Jamal, Macaroo. And it's going to be sold on my side like that. I'm going to sell them bitches. Two for 15, three for the 25, six for, <laughs> six for 50, 12 for two. The bitches going to jam. Because they're going to buy them bitches. And once they see they work, all the shorties going to take them back to the hood. It's going to be over with. All the shorties, I'm putting y'all on this for the rappers. Could ever, the rappers don't even know about this. A little baby and I'm going to be rapping about it. They wouldn't be popping that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them, nigga. We off the macaroon, nigga. We off that marine gay seeds. We ain't fucking with none of that. We fuck with them MRs, nigga. These, we got them MRs. What them is? Them MR22s. MR22. Whole thing, too. Whole thing. Look at them, boy. Look at them. Whole things. Whole things. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Three for twenty five. Three for the heavy on the heavy on the what? Hey, what you got? Eight? You got eight? You got eight? Shit, come on, shit, come on. I ain't gonna give you no big one because you got eight. You only got eight, nigga. So you finna get the smallest one. There you go. Boom. You only had eight. You got ten. Okay, you got the whole ten. I, I'm gonna get you right. You got. You had the whole ten. What you? Six. Boy, I'm gonna get your ass a shell. There you go. You gonna think of something there. You gonna get home. You gonna be hurt like you hurt me when you came with that six. We can both play them games, nigga. You ain't gonna out hustle the hustler, baby. What you get? What you get? What you got, huh? I only got, man, nephew. I, I got, I got twenty two. You got twenty two. Well, look, go ahead, keep that two dollars for you, cause you might need it for later. I'ma go ahead, drop that other one in there and get you two. Oh, come on, nephew. Well, let me get the three for the twenty five. I got twenty two, nigga. I'm already giving you three for the twenty five. It's supposed to be thirty dollars. All right, so if you only got 22, you might want well to keep that other two out of your pocket because you might need that shit for later. I'm going to go ahead, drop that back in there. You take these two, give me that $20. I'll get up with you later. You feel me? That's how we do business out here. You ain't trying to, you ain't go out hustle the hustler. You can't out slick the slickster, man. We gone, huh? Get him, get him, get him child of mine. You feel me? Hey, y'all feel me? <laughs> nah, because motherfuckers, I do like, oh, you already made a deal. Look, I got three for the 25. Nigga want to come be like, shit, I got 22. G, I'm already get doing three for the 25. Well, I, I only got 23. All right, well, if you got 23, keep them little $3. <laughs> it just give me, give me the dub. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. She, fuck that. You ain't finna beat me out of $7. Do you tripping? Now you now you tripping, nigga. Are these, they really supposed to be $30. They're $10 a piece. You, did you forget? How you making a how you making a deal on a deal? I don't know. You, I didn't ever like when people did that. Like, how are you making a deal on a deal? Nigga, it's already a deal. It's three for 25. Fuck you mean you got 23, 24, 22, tw none of it. If you ain't got 25, come with 20. Hold that, hold that other little one, two, three, four in your pocket. Give me the 20 so I keep my money even. I'm not going to lose $7 out here because I already spent some other money on some shit I was supposed to spend it on anyway. So no, I'm not going to do that. It's over with. Catch me tomorrow. You tripping. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Boy, y'all know I... I'm, I used to be out there like, yeah, he was out there for real. Like, I already know the spiel. Like, nah, I ain't, I ain't, nah, I, man, hell no. Man, I got eight. Eight? Because even on the eight, I used to be like that. You better catch me on the right day talking about eight. And if you got eight, you better have a whole thing. I remember one time a, a fiend did that, though. Like, we like 16, he came with eight and change. I was hot. I slapped the shit. I'm bah. What the fuck is you on? You done have me walk all the way down the block. We get in the alley. You talking about some? you got. It's cold today. You could have said it all the way down there. Man, now if you check it out, I'm like, what you trying to do? Because I know what he be on. Nah, I ain't even on that. I don't want no, I don't want no, nah, I don't want no motherfucking nut. I don't want no, I don't want no, no utensils. I don't want no t-shirts, none of that. I need money today, huh? Well, just take this walk with me, nephew. I got you. I'm going to get you right. All right, unk. We walk all the way down the block. We hit the alley. What you got, unk? What you got for me? What you got? I'm looking. I'm trying to get out the gym. I'm looking anyway. Shit, nigga, we in two with niggas. It's robbers out here, Jack Boys, and it's 12 riding. We, I got three niggas to look out for, nigga. What's up, unk? What you trying to do? I can't even get you eye contact right now. What you trying to do, unk? I got, I got eight. Eight. Unk, I just told you when we walked down here, unk, I wasn't on that today. Fuck it, man. Come on, man. Give me the eight, man. Well, I got it in chain. Nigga, bye. I smacked the fuck out of that. Like, oh, nah, hell, nah, now you get a drink. I'm not finna be out here with all this motherfucking loose change. Anything can happen today. I might get shot at. I might have to shoot at some motherfuckers. I might have to run from the police. I'm not finna be out here with the heavy pockets full of change. And I'm not finna go to the house. And I'm not finna go in the store with $8 in change. Because now the a rap's giving me a hard time. I can't even cash in like $8 in change. Let me get $8. They don't even want to give it to me. 
You done gave me all pennies and nickels. You can't even get the nerd and not even give it to me in quarters. You got nickels, pennies, dimes, dirty pennies and this shit. You tripping, huh? But see, that's why I'm glad I left that situation. We just we just kick it right at you. <laughs> y'all know how it be. But yeah, get y'all some of these, man. Macaroo gods.